you can see my teeth marks and you can see how it's it's flat right there i totally cleaved that crystal right in half bam <laughs> Silicon Valley culture meets San Francisco food culture. The manufactured chocolate begins when they cut it off the tree, split a pot open, and then take the beans and ferment them. That fermentation creates a destiny for those beans. Explaining that story is what's been fascinating to me about being involved in a chocolate startup. And so part of what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do here, is put the context around making great chocolate. When you say the fermentation creates a destiny for That's the beans, right. what do you what do you mean by that? It's like you're you're sort of reading the the spiritual life of this plant. Uh, well, the beans have their genetics, so they're going to have inherent uh, characteristics, but, but those will only get expressed completely if the fermentation at the beginning is good or is as good as it can be. Some beans, as we taste it downstairs, some are more acid or bitter than others, right? And From the same crop almost, right? right? Depending yeah. on how they're fermented. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, you're there getting you it. Go. You're yeah. getting it. Exactly. We developed a new taxonomy for chocolate, and basically we was doing it by flavor. So what we do is we, we I developed this kind of, this wheel, the flavor wheel, that actually has six inherent flavors that I found uh, predominantly in chocolate. And when we say flavor, we're not talking about adding stuff to it, we're talking about finding, scouring the world for beans with these inherent properties. Mm -hmm. So this becomes our blueprint for us to how we go around the world. Let's, let's start with this one. This is the chocolatey. Um, and it, it's, it's, you it's, sort of, I watch you snap them, and it's it, part of the tasting experience is, is also the, the tactile. You're snapping the crystalline yep. structure. Exactly. Right. Look, what he said. So if you look real close, you can see my teeth marks, and you can see how it's, it's flat right there. I totally cleaved that crystal right in half. Bam. Okay. So, and part, part of the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, I can do that. I did that. Go I mean, I can it. tell you it tastes good. So there's all sorts of like fun little fruits in there. Mm -hmm. And there's kind of really chocolatey, really um, kind of cacao taste. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to take some stuff and we're going to come back to it. And you'd be surprised how your palate just by the chocolate changes and how it affects it. And that's, that's all to illustrate how how they all inter interrelate with themselves. So okay. Okay, we're going to do nutty next, okay? So this is, again, this is like point one. All right. Meld in there. Mm. Texture's totally different. Yeah. But most importantly, the flavor's totally different. The way, it, the way my tongue is reacting. The thing yeah. I like to do with the nutty one is just to let it melt in the mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Different characteristics in this than I used to. Well, the reasons are the same for as they are for wine. I mean, it's the genetics of the of the material itself, and it's the terroir where it's coming from. It's what's in the ground is being mm -hmm. expressed through the bean. Um, and then, and then what we're trying to do is take those inherent characteristics and blow them out. It's mm -hmm. like to make them even more pronounced than mm -hmm. they otherwise would be. So let, try, try to bite the nut again. So now you've got a, a cleaner palate to try it again. Because what happens is in between each one, one flavor will affect the other. It's starting to kick in now. A lot of talk recently about sort of the the science, the biology, the genetics of the cocoa plant, the plant that produces the, the cocoa fruit. I mean, what are what are you guys doing or thinking about that part of the equation? Um, well, that's kind of where our future lies, right? Because mm -hmm. we're experimenting with how to make the chocolate, right? Mm -hmm. So further down the line, we're going to be experimenting and actually the genetics of it, right? So tweaking things along the way. But this is, takes this is years in the process. It takes. It takes three years to, once you make a plant, hey, what once you plant a tree for it to actually start to bear fruit, right? So we're looking at long cycles here. Let's do citrus. Now this is really, really early. It's not as bright as it normally would be, but it's still damn good. So try this. This is citrus. This just this is second batch I've made out of this so far. I'm getting super buzzed. Sure. Lewis and I and uh, our other partner went to uh, Amsterdam. Wow. Wow. That's, that's it's totally different. Totally. Okay. <laughs> God, that's good. Dude. What you're tasting when you taste this is, you know, first you get it starts to snap and bite and melt, and then you start getting a little hint of the sugar right away, and then as the cocoa butter start to release the cocoa particles on your tongue, start spreading around, then you start getting those first little hits. It's just like little cherries in there a little bit, and then also there's a little pineapple almost in there as well, but then there's just bursts of citrus all the way through. And trails. 
I look at I look at um, I totally appropriate this from uh, uh, Clay Gordon. He's kind of uh, talking about like a MIDI model because I've been mapping my mm -hmm. chocolates out of this thing. He goes, that's a that's a it's a, like MIDI, right? Yeah. So chocolate so waveforms. Yeah. Well, that, that's that, but think about it. It's, 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 yeah. yeah. I've been tweaking with what flavors are released when in the experience. From there, I've been trying to figure out how do we can, how do we make a spike? How does it approach? Right? How does he get the first flavor? And then what comes in? And, and I can't tell you a secret is one of my tricks is always have a little pop at the end. So we designed the chocolate specifically with this. Now, milk chocolate, you don't touch that, right? I mean, that's... We're, we're going to get there. Um, What's the difference? Milk, I don't even know. Oh, milk chocolate and dark chocolate? Yeah. Oh, you just basically add uh, milk powder to it. But uh, I think that's a story that's worth yeah. getting into, is how milk chocolate or rock, you know, how we got to have yeah. milk chocolate as being the predominant chocolate. And why is milk. that? Um, well, if you're buying commodity beans and they're not well fermented, then they don't taste very good to begin with. And so mm -hmm. if you want to actually have them taste good, then you add... Sugar and fat and fat yeah. and milk. Well, that's the American way. That's, that's one thing. <laughs> Another thing is that um, milk fat's cheaper than cocoa butter. Yeah, a lot. Mm. So you can extract the cocoa butter and sell it off for suntan lotion and put milk in in its place. And the, and then whenever they made dark chocolate like Hershey's, would it would then taste really bitter or bad? And that's the recollection that people have when they've ever, they have a bad memory of a bad memory of dark chocolate. It was unapproachable, right? So that's that's who we are. We're trying to make something, make the unseen seen, uh, both in flavor and taste, but also make it make it very easy to digest. Speaking of, once you take take one bite of that and one bite of that, so this is chocolatey and nutty. So you can start combining your flavors. Try it at the same time. Yeah, yeah. It's like a uh, peanut butter. Oh my god, it tastes just like peanut butter. Is that great? <laughs> so, so the whole idea is we want people to start experimenting with their own stuff. Okay, so here, here's a fruity again, right? So yeah. take a bite of that, small bite of that. Okay, everybody take a small bite of that. So just let it coat your tongue, yep. Just let it coat your tongue. Let it change the pH in your mouth. Okay. And then come back to the chocolate. Oh my god. Yeah. It's just the beginning. There we go. Just a while. It's, it's, it's just so you can start to understand. It's just these levels upon levels of complexity. It tastes like a cigar. Or yeah. Is that weird? Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. It's strange. This is really sweet. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> 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 Boom. Actually do feel high right yeah, now. No, I just need to funny. disclose that. Yeah, is that funny? Wow. Wow. Yeah.